Hey guys, Chanel here. Today I'm working with Freely Luxury Hair Extensions. I'm going to show you how to clip them in and make them blend with short hair. First, section the hair, separating the front from the back. Create a parting from ear to ear and section the top of your hair out of the way. Your bottom extension should be medium length. Measure that extension to the part line to make sure that it will fit in that section. Before you attach the extension, use a comb or a back combing brush to tease the hair where you'll be placing the extension. This will help to secure the extension, prevent slippage, and alleviate weight and pressure off your head. When attaching your extension, make sure that the clip is open. Place the middle clip in first, forcing it downward and snapping it into the hair. Repeat these steps with the remaining clips, remembering to use tension with your placement to keep the hair taut. This same process will be repeated using wider extensions working up towards the crown of the head. When applying extensions to short hair or layers, place the top extension as close to the crown as possible without it being visible. Once you're finished applying all of your extensions in the back, you may drop the veil of hair above and begin to blend it with your extensions. You can use a mirror while you are combing it to make sure that none of the wefts are visible. Use light hairspray to keep it in place. Gently secure the back of your hair with a clip to separate it from the front. If you have a blunt haircut, a heavy weight line, or thick hair, it is best to separate these sections and pin them to the back of the head. This can be done by braiding the side panels of your hair where the hair is thickest. If the front of your hair is very wispy, feathered, or texturized, you can skip this step and your hair will blend as normal. However, this technique works really well to conceal your natural hair from being seen through the extensions. Gently lift your extensions and clip them out of the way. Bring your two braids to the back of the head and place them just under your bottom extension using a bobby pin to secure them to the back of your head. Drop your hair from the clip and make sure none of your extensions are out of place. Applying an additional row of extensions to the bottom hairline using a backward clip-in technique can help conceal the remaining short hair. Simply attach these extensions to the base of your hair facing the other direction so that these extensions lay in front of your natural hair. When attaching extensions to the front of your hair, Make sure your sections are as high and as forward as possible without being seen. Placing wider extensions on the sides and individuals closer towards the hairline will create a more natural look. Depending on the texture of your hair, you can probably get away with applying your individual clip-ins without having to backcomb those sections. The more forward that you apply them, the easier it will be to conceal your bangs or front layers. If you prefer a softer look, you can trim your individual extensions once they're clipped in to create face framing layers. You can achieve a soft layer without cutting them by applying them in staggered positions. Once you have all of your extensions clipped in, you can blend them using a brush, a comb, or simply your fingers to keep them in place using light hairspray. Blending extensions with short hair can be difficult if you're wearing a straight look, so I recommend adding a little texture and putting in a few curls. This will allow you to have some movement in your hair without your layers being visible. If you're used to working with short hair, curling extensions can be difficult. I recommend using a curling wand instead of an iron. Because a curling wand doesn't have a clip, you can actually curl more hair on the wand. Wrapping big sections of hair on a larger rod will create loose waves or curls. This is a great look for blending extensions. Begin by separating the hair down the middle and bringing all of your hair forward. Start in the back by creating a two inch vertical section. Holding the wand vertically, wrap the entire section of hair along the rod until the very tips of the hair are completely wrapped. If you prefer for your ends to be straight, you may leave them out. If you have trouble wrapping this whole section around the wand, you may break it into smaller subsections to work with. 
The direction you hold the wand can get tricky, so you may have to play with it to find out what's most comfortable for you. I recommend holding it so the tip of the wand is facing the floor. The amount of time that you keep the hair wrapped on the wand depends on how curly you want the look to be. Extension hair is pretty resilient, so it can take a lot of heat. You can test the temperature by tapping the outside of your hair on the wand to see if it's hot. If you're using big sections, it may take a little longer. Make sure to cradle the hair as you remove it from the wand to allow it to cool before dropping it. Once you're finished curling the hair, you can finger through the hair and blend your natural hair as needed. Voila!